tightening rates indicate that the market will open in the green this morning. The SGX Nifty is suggesting that. Of course, we'll keep our eye out on several stocks. On the upside, HDFC Bank for its numbers. On the downside, Avenue Supermarts and Vipro post a disappointment. Manoj Murlidharan, the Vice President Derivatives at Relicare Broking, joins us now to give us some trends for the day and the week. Manoj, what are you looking at? Do you think the market could trend higher given the cues that we have? And what are the stocks that you're watching today? Uh, good morning, Sonia. Uh, Sonia, if you see uh, the general pattern in which the market behaves is uh, the last week of the monthly expiries when we see a trending market coming in and generally the mix in between as a range bound session. But then of lately, the last two days, specifically Thursday and Friday, what we have seen is um, not only the FIs have uh, covered some of the short positions, but then the IVs of both Nifty and Bank Nifty has dipped. And the best part is whenever the Bank Nifty um, lines the nifty the strength trend has got strength so we are believing that uh, this upside can go all the way to 18,150 to 18,200 950 becomes the support for the day that's a level where we can buy that uh, same goes for the bank nifty the levels would be 42,800 to 43,000 now um, the important thing is uh, we believe that once we cross about 18,200 which might be a case because of the long position that we are seeing in the index and uh, obviously, we all know that there is a huge event line next week. There is a possibility that the Nifty might again stage a new rally all the way towards a new high. So as of now, the short-term target with 18,250 and a support of 17,950 becomes a buy for the Nifty and uh, 43,000 for the bank Nifty becomes a buy with a support close to 42,300. Mm. Uh, Manoj, uh, what about your uh, trading ideas, stocks? Uh, Prashant, uh, Kotak Bank, I guess it's been more than uh, seven to eight hour trading session. We are seeing some delivery based action and we are also seeing after the ratio analysis that goes on in the weightage it has on the bank FT. So there is a fair possibility that we expect the stock might run into 1830, 1830 as a target. The support for the stock is somewhere close to 1760. So with yesterday's closing, I guess 1778 to 1780, it becomes a buy with the stock close of 1760 and we are expecting close to 1830 as a target. Uh, from the FMCG basket, I guess Britannia is one stock uh, we have been seeing good buying and we expect that uh, there might be following buying and the stock can rally all the way to almost uh, 4,400. 4,340 becomes a good level to go long. The stock loss should be around 4,300 in the stock as well. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, Manoj, for joining and giving us uh, you know that view on the index as well as a couple of trading strategies.